Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And this message is very important, my brothers and sisters. So shalom to the body of Yahushua, the bride. And shalom, shalom to the scattered Hebrew Israelites who are throughout the four corners of the earth. I cannot stress how it's important to listen to Yahuwah's message, I'm coming for you. And I'm asking you, my brothers and sisters, especially my brothers, please put your flesh aside. Do not look at the messenger gender. Listen to the spirit. For the word say we will know when our father is speaking. The sheep shall hear his voice. We shall know these things. And excuse the background noises that you hear. But the word again say that his sheep shall know his voice. So what the Most High stirred up in me for you. He said go back and type it out. So my people can have the message. Because not only do you need to listen to the video. But you need to go back and read the message. Because when you read the message, it's going to bring tears to your eyes. It's going to bring comfort. For we know this is the, the season for the Messiah to return. And we need to prepare. Do you hear that bride of Yahushua? We need to prepare for his coming. And this message is giving us specific instructions. Okay? It is for the Israelites, Gentiles, male, female, bond, free, circumcised, uncircumcised Scythian barbarian okay for all for we are all in the Messiah now when you understand why we are the same when you understand why male and female are the same then you should understand why we are all one in the Messiah because it go back to the beginning of the book so I'm not going to give that answer in this video because many of you heard heard this before but for those who do not know the answer it's on the YouTube channel it's there Go and watch those videos. But he is bringing us back to the beginning on how the Creator wants us to be. So I'm stressing to you again, after you listen to the video of I'm coming for you, for Yahuwah is speaking himself through his messenger, which is Sister Jacqueline. Please take the time and go back and read the message. It shall bring comfort to your soul it shall bring tears to your eyes and you shall rejoice and at the end when I read it I said hallelujah praise ye Yah praise ye Yah for you are a good God you are a righteous judge and you are our savior and deliverer hallelujah 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 continue my family to preach the gospel that the kingdom of heaven is at hand Make sure the people receive salvation as written in Romans chapter 10 and baptize them in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. For we now seeing that the Negroes who are the children of Israel are waking up in these last days. We're now seeing the prophets and the prophetess speaking in these last days, which fulfill Acts chapter 2 and Joel chapter 2. We see so many signs in the heavens and the earth. For the new moon was not seen in Israel in, in the sixth month and in other months, letting you know they are not the true Israelites. Continue to watch and pray and be prepared. Be prepared, O bride of Yahushua. Shalom. And do you know who is that peace that with you? Think about it.